Yes, I'm back with another video talking about this bad Empanada guy, but this time it doesn't involve women bashers like Baby Ball Santa Hall, and how he has yet to debate bad Empanada. I think at this point I assume this guy blocked me for some reason, because whilst I can see my comments, they do not show up when I look at the comments section on a private tab. Who knows, maybe he has the comments section set up, so he has to approve comments before they are visible. In any case, I don't care if he blocked me or not, I'm still going to watch his videos. Besides, I never had much of anything to say anyway. In this case however, I responded to his video about how Twitter suspended him for using the word gringo. He basically says that the word itself is not meant to be a racial slur, but in my response I said this. Gringo is technically a racial slur, but only because Spanish speaking people can use it as a racist way to refer to Americans. I didn't bother to watch the whole video because well, I don't enjoy myself watching videos where someone is basically crying about getting suspended. But my point is that if you use that word to insult someone, and if that is why you got suspended, then it doesn't matter if the word itself is not meant to be a racial slur, if people nowadays uses it to racially insult someone. I'm sorry, but I think Twitter is more in the right here, because again, Spanish speaking people use that word to be racist about American people. I don't get why there is still people that doesn't understand that Twitter is not good if you want to talk about someone in a negative or derogatory way, that's why I barely use it, because it's a shit place for people to act irrational and stupid, but you can't even do that easily. That's why I usually don't talk to anybody over there. There is also the fact that this Australian empanada guy does engage with Spanish speaking people on a different channel. So chances are that he knows the word gringo is used as a racial slur by Spanish speaking people. Hell, I think they use that word way more than the word jank. I guess I can also point out as fella that this guy does show signs of playing the YouTube money game. Like how I noticed that this guy always takes out swear words during the first 30 seconds of his videos. The reason you see people removing swear words during the first minute of their videos, or anything similar, is because that is a tactic they use in an attempt to avoid getting demonetized. A praise of the badass Ukrainians. When he uploaded this, it was already debunked. The fucking Snake Island story. White rights, of course. This is a video from The Guardian. Uh, it is captioned, Go f yourself. Ukrainian soldiers on Snake Island. This was debunked like three days ago. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense confirmed that they are alive. Yeah, the defiant soldiers of Snake Island are actually alive and well, says Ukraine's Navy. So this is just fake. If you don't know the story, the story was that there were 13 soldiers on this little island. They were actually border guards from what I understood. And um, a Russian warship told them to surrender or it would open fire. And rather than like surrendering in a hopeless situation against a fucking warship, fucking 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 fuck 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 fuck. So yeah. He's definitely playing the YouTube money game, but I don't really mind it, because it's not as questionable or annoying as the typical YouTubers that constantly ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and especially encouraging you to comment by always saying, What do you guys think? near the end of the video, so their videos get promoted more in the algorithm. The reason that is questionable is because they probably don't give a shit about what you have to say, they just care about their own monetary benefit. They are basically manipulating you. So now you know why you can start seeing this pattern of how these YouTubers always say those things. I'm always ready to jump off as soon as I hear that corporate robotic stuff, but even if I do comment on the video, I always love to add this to my comment. You are welcome on how this comment can help you in the algorithm by the way. Anyways, I think that's all I wanted to say. I might make a video called, what do you guys think, the truth behind the phrase that most YouTubers use. You might even get wannabe friends vibes out of that.